Hey everybody, it is uh, Vegan from the D-Pad D-Bags, and what I'm going to show you today is something that I've heard referred to as a Geico Rush. Uh, it's essentially a Marine SCV all-in, similar to the uh, Boxer Rush from StarCraft Brood War. So I'm going to get that going right now, and I'm going to start the game up. Uh, we're going to stay on faster. And so we have uh, L-Tier, L-Tier, Alt-Tier in the top section, and I am down in the bottom section doing my thing. So at the beginning of the game, I mean, there's nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, he's just SCVing. Uh, I am just SCVing. Um, we both end up doing a supply depot at nine. Uh, actually, he might do his at ten. To complete. Nope, he's doing it at nine as well as I do mine at nine. Um, I know he is slightly ahead, and then, well, not anymore. He doesn't have SCVs coming out. Okay, so we're both basically even to this point in the game. Uh, let me actually jump it up to 2x just so we can get through it a little quicker. Um, here he goes, his barracks. I don't know if he's going for a scout before the supply depot is complete. And then he should have his barracks going down at 12, as well as I have my barracks going down at 12. So let's actually get the production up. And so his barracks is going down, my barracks is going down. And I am SCBing, but apparently he has halted SCB production. I still haven't figured out why, uh, to be completely honest, he halted SCB production. Um, maybe he's just bad, and that's why he has to do this sort of rush to win. Uh, so I do my refinery right around the same time I do my barracks, usually two supply later. Because what I like to do is I like to throw two workers on it, and as I'm getting a marine out, I get enough gas to create a tech lab to get a reaper for scouting. So he's fully blocked off, and he has the second racks going down. I've created my orbital. If you notice, he is not getting an orbital, as well as he doesn't have any gas. Those are two huge tells that a strategy like this might be coming. You figure if you don't see any gas, especially, especially not one gas, about four minutes in, there's a good chance that it's a heavy marine play, um, really can't do anything else. Uh, SCVs, that's about it, as I hit puberty for the first time. Um, and I got my second and third racks going down, I only have one Marine, and I have my Reaper about to come out for some scouting. So this is where it gets basically interesting. So he's got six Marines, and drops all his tech labs and grabs all of his SCVs and decides to come down for an attack. At the exact same time, I'm getting my Reaper up into his base. So I see the empty mineral line. I naturally think, oh, maybe he just saw the Reaper coming and he cleared his mineral line before. I didn't really scout down to the front, I just kind of hung out and see what he did. Instead, he's actually got his Marines and SCVs all kind of tucked in here. And his Marines are right in the middle. You can see there is Marines protected by the SCVs. Oh, uh, return to game. Wrong button. Uh, if you look at units, he's got 21 SCVs. I've got 21 SCVs. I've got four Marines. At Reaper, he's got eight Marines. So he's actually got me by a little bit, although two of his Marines and one of his SCVs are back in his base. So I have four Marines against all of this plus my SCVs. Now what I should have done, and I didn't do this, is I should have pulled my Marines back behind my SCVs, probably around here, pulled my SCVs up here, and dealt with that head on. Probably brought my Marines around like this and flanked him here and took out his Marines while they were busy with the SCVs. Uh, unfortunately, I did not do that and I tried to engage him head on and that didn't work very well as you can watch. The SCVs just surround, the Marines can't go anywhere, and his Marines just wrecked them. So I tried to fight with my SCVs. Uh, we're pretty much they even except he's got the Marines. Any Marines that pop out can pretty much instantly gibbed. Um, actually, it's only lost one SCV this entire time. So I'm trying to micro my SCV stop. I'm also trying to get a Hellion out here to do some damage. Uh, I tried to attack my Reaper here, but stupidly I kind of left him while I micro down here. So essentially the rest of the game is me just trying to get away. So I bring these up here, bring that down here. I'm going to have three mules by the time it lands. Basically just trying to muster anything to survive. But unfortunately, it doesn't work. So 
so I had my Hellion coming. I think I've canceled Marine production to lift these off. And he ends up beating me. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's kind of a cheesy move. But if you scout it out early enough and you really kind of figure out what the hell he's doing, it's very comfortable. A bunker probably would have fixed it. Um, you know, an extra Marine had I put my uh, second Rex up a little earlier. I would have been able to counter pretty well because I would have had, you know, a couple more Marines. Probably would have had uh, another two Marines or so. So it's easily counterable. And the warning signs are pretty obvious. It's the no gas, no orbital, two barracks. I mean, that could be a couple other things, but there's not a lot that it could be. The no gas Marines, heavy Marine play. So he's either going to build up a ton of Marines and push with those or push with the Marines and SCBs. If he only has two barracks... Odds are he's going to do something with the SCBs because you can't do anything with two barracks worth of Marines. So that's what uh, I've heard referred to as the Geico rush. It's essentially a modern day boxer rush, and I've seen it a lot more on the ladder lately. So I figured I'd let you guys know about it and figure out how I'd, I'd like to counter it next time I see it and what I'll do. Uh, so I'm Vegan from the D-Pad D Bags. Uh, you can get more information on our blog at www.dpaddbags.com. Uh, it's not solely StarCraft related, uh, but we do have our podcast, also not solely StarCraft related. Uh, I'm the only player on the blog. Um, but you can check it out. There's other gaming stuff, uh, interesting articles, and our podcasts. We stream live, as well as I stream my StarCraft live on Justin TV. That's www.justin.tv slash dpaddbags. Um, you know, check it out and let me know what you think. And I'm going to be making more videos soon, so I hope you enjoy them. All right. Bye-bye.